Hello and welcome to the Overly Animated Podcast. I we be casting off now. This is Appa, my flying bison. Right. And this what? is What is that? The From the Spirit World music? Dylan here, uh, announcing a new podcasting miniseries covering the upcoming live-action Avatar The Last Airbender series from Netflix, which is dropping February 22nd. We'll be doing podcasts on all eight episodes, and most excitingly, I will be joined by former From the Spirit World co-hosts. That's right, it will be a From the Spirit World reunion. If you don't know, back in the days when Avatar and Men Korra were airing, uh, I hosted the From the Spirit World podcast just on those two shows when they was airing, even way back in the day with Avatar, and we were the biggest uh, fans out there of Avatar and Korra. Um, and so here we're going to be back talking about this new Netflix show. Uh, you can subscribe to not miss any of these eight podcasts that will be coming out on the live action Avatar show. We have a specific feed for this podcast miniseries. If you search live action Avatar overly animated from the Spirit World, some combination of those, you can find the link, uh, in the description of wherever you're listening to this as well. You could subscribe to the general overly animated podcast feed, uh, the main feed that'll get you these podcasts. We also cross post all our overly animated podcasts to YouTube, uh, search for overly animated on YouTube. You can subscribe there. Any of those ways you will not miss any of our upcoming live action avatar coverage. I know there is a lot of skepticism in the avatar fandom and generally around the show and absolutely warranted after previous live action adaptations and the fact that Mike and Brian are not particularly involved in this series. So we will get into all that uh, in the podcast and criticize what needs to be criticized. But I'm going to give you two reasons why I personally am actually looking forward to this show as a big Avatar fan. Number one, this is, I think, the the big one here. Um, the in cast and large amounts of the crew are entirely indigenous or Asian backgrounds, any exceptions notwithstanding. And all the directors of the show are Asian. I think that in general, the people making and portraying the characters for the show are much more representative culturally of the background of the world than the original show was. And I think that that alone makes this a really worthwhile project. And I'm interested to see what that, you know, more cultural authenticity brings about in terms of the storytelling. A second reason is the fact that it's a hour-long drama now. A lot of reasons that that could go wrong, but I'm really interested to see Avatar in another format. Avatar on its originally 22-minute, more of a kid show, comedy, drama, whatever you want to call it. This hour-long, maybe more adult-themed drama, I think that'll affect the storytelling choices in interesting ways. I'm kind of interested to see what they change because of that, honestly. I like, I'm like. i hoping that it's its own thing to some extent, and they will change certain things. So, you know, whether it goes great, badly, or somewhere in between, we are going to be talking about all of it on the Overly Animated Podcast slash From This World <laughs> slash From This Spirit World Podcast. So subscribe to not miss any of that coverage coming up. I will see all of you starting around February 22nd.